up for being <laughs> Where's the desk? Education. Oh, that I forgot. I'm sorry. Welcome to episode 31. It's the, it's the education episode. Yeah. So I'm going to sit at, at a, a student's desk. Do you get it? Yeah. yeah. You get it, right? Uh, this is going to be a great episode. Thank you so much for being here. Here at Jack Will Theater Company's Frontier. Off the crow's nest, I'm sure you've already heard about Neil and Wes, the tech team up there. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hello. Yeah. 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 Alex behind camera way. Hey, 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 Al. Camera A, Alex, you get it? <laughs> Full of jokes! <laughs> uh, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. We are live on Facebook. Facebook. Check us out. Uh, we're on all the social media things. We're on Friendster. We're on LinkedIn. Um, please tag us and, and like us. Please like me. <laughs> Uh, let's just like dive right in. Let's just seamlessly transition, you know, without like you'll barely notice. I'm just gonna <laughs> ease right into it. You'll barely be able to tell into the monologue. Uh, but you know, I'd, I'd like to begin actually at the very end of the show. We're gonna film a little bit, so everyone stay seated at the very end of the show. You're gonna want to stand up and clap. <laughs> try to try to tamper that. Uh, stick around after the show. We're gonna have a great time. And if you're on Facebook Live, you got about an hour. So let's just dive right in. There's that seamless transition I was talking about. Donald Trump <laughs> is the president of the United States. It's not a fever dream. This is real. We're experiencing this together. He's the first president in over 150 years to not have a pet in the White House. It's true. This is data that I know. How, well, how would you fire a pet, right? How would that work? That'd be difficult. I don't know how you would do that. Uh, it's true. Donald Trump has no pets. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> Come on. We all know where this is going. Uh, also, Antarctica. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, scientists in Antarctica have reported that while they were on expedition, they discovered a preserved 107-year-old fruitcake on expedition. Uh, it's, it's a monologue joke. Uh, it really happened, though. It's true. You can Google it. Scientists are still unclear what Bernie Sanders was doing that far away from his home, <laughs> but returned him safely back to Vermont. <laughs> Fruitcake? Healthcare for all. Okay. <laughs> Don't get me started. Based on recent controversy, an ESPN announcer was pulled from covering a Virginia football game because his name was Robert Lee. This is Robert Lee on the left. <laughs> That's Robert E. Lee on the right. No relation. Yeah, no, he was pulled as the announcer because of all the statues things that were happening down south. He was not allowed to announce the game. Sad news for Mr. Lee. Great news for his backup announcer, Hitler McHitlerson. <laughs> Seems like a nice enough guy. A hell of a name. A sheriff in Florida. We remember Florida, right? Our thoughts are with Florida. Uh, a sheriff in Florida has ordered people not to fire their guns at Hurricane Irma. After, after 53,000 people showed interest in a Shoot at Irma event organized on Facebook. You can see it here, Shoot at Hurricane Irma. Got a little Florida. Everyone was surprised to see such low numbers. Only 53,000 people were interested in shooting guns at a hurricane. <laughs> it is good to see Floridians who want to shoot at something that actually poses a threat to them, though. So that's good. <laughs> Who are you mad at? <laughs> Who are you mad at? There's a giant cricket in here, Neil. Let's go. Uh, EPA Chief Scott Pruitt, not a fan, gotta be honest. Uh, Pruitt told CNN, he's one of the many old white guys on the cabinet, he's the head of the EPA, and he told CNN recently that despite recent hurricanes, now is not the time to talk about climate change, okay? Now is not the time. Don't, put, don't force it. Come on, we're trying to have a nice time. We're easing into fall. He did report, however, that it is, now that he's caught up on his DVR, we can finally talk about that Bachelor in Paradise finale. Can you believe that Bachelor? <laughs> that one Bachelor guy who's, uh, who's the, is that him? I actually don't know. I can't find the plot of Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> I, I, we, I, the, the largest part of research in the monologue was trying to figure out what exactly that show is about. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Cricket learned to play the trumpet. <laughs> That's amazing. It's very impressive. Dan Scavino, the White House social media director. Look at this guy. That's real. <laughs> yeah, he looks that that fits, right? That facial expression. He's the social media director of the White House. He tweeted out fake news story on Hurricane Irma, and uh, he was called out by the Miami International Airport. This is what he, he tweeted. He said, sharing Hurricane Irma on social media with the president and VP Vice, Tw Vice Pence uh, hourly. Here's Miami International Airport. Stay safe. And it basically shows like three feet of water. Here's the reply from Miami International Airport. <laughs> <laughs> this video is not from Miami International Airport. You know you're bad at your job when an airport's information is more reliable than yours. <laughs> Has that cricket ever missed a flight? Because it's not very funny. Uh, with all these hurricanes going on, many are surprised about rumors that the Trump administration is thinking about rolling back EPA regulations, funding, personnel. These are all rumors at this point. Uh, it's less surprising that he would roll back these EPA things when all these hurricanes are happening, when you realize just last week, Trump eliminated the demonic clown poltergeist task force, which is bad timing. Bad timing. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> Musical guest, Free Soul Chicago, is in the house. I'm very excited to introduce the show man to you. Comedian Vic Pena is here as well. And welcoming back for round two, I don't know how he did it twice, friend of the show, Troy LaRavier is in the house tonight. Yeah. Special education episode, but first, 